Seldom Seen stands for seldom seen and seldom heard music, uh, also with a quality that you don't see so often. So we, we really want to make music at the highest level. One of our first pieces was uh, In Nomine by Christopher Tai. Uh, a Renaissance composer and that's where we took the name from. It's a very special piece. And we thought, yeah, that's actually the idea of our group. We want to do something that you don't see very often and that you don't hear very often. With our historical performance practice, we want to combine this with a new uh, thought. We want to think progressive. We try to play the music in, in a historical context as well, but we try to do it in a modern way. We wanted to, to show the best we got, actually, the best, the best performances that we can give. Seldom Seen Recorder Quintet won a prize, um, or actually three prizes, during a uh, competition last year. That was the International Van Wassenaar competition for early music ensembles. We won the overall competition with the first prize, but we also got the Audience Award and we were also lucky to get the Press Prize. And um, with this Press Prize we saw an amazing opportunity to show people what we, what we can do with our instruments. The melody, which was called La España, is performed by one of the five voices, and the rest are, uh, in principle, improvising lines around it. So this was a common practice in, back then, and you could compare it to what uh, just musicians do nowadays. It's not entirely clear if it was Josquin de Pré or not. Uh, most likely not, but uh, in the past people liked to label music as being by him because he was very famous, he was the best. It for sure has the uh, ingenuity and the fantastic architecture that he is famous for. I've been born in Germany and I moved uh, like 16 years ago to Amsterdam to become a professional recorder player. I was asked um, who wants to play the recorder after the kindergarten and I immediately, immediately raised my hand and I probably was just curious and wanted to play that instrument and then yeah maybe I was captured by the sound and oh, 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 by the music in general and that's why I kept on playing and playing. We played together in a big ensemble called the Royal Wind Music and um, we all liked playing together so much that we decided to create a quintet. We immediately had a really great click together, so it, it worked. From the first few rehearsals, it was clear that this is where we want to go. We are all very different individuals, which makes the group interesting. We, don't, we very often don't agree immediately, and that means you have to discuss and work on things until everybody's convinced, but then it's really strong, you can stand strong. I had that at a very early age actually. I think even when I was just a beginner and I was six or seven years old, the instruments felt so friendly in my hands and it always went with so much ease that I, I had the idea very early in my head, of course, very naive as you are as a child, that this is what, uh, what I want to do when I grow up. I started the recorder when I was uh, 10 years old and I actually immediately fell in love with the instrument and that was because of Frans Brugge. I had uh, some records from him and he, I, I was playing this all the time. He turned the recorder again into a proper instrument. He uh, achieved an incredibly high level and he was very inspiring to all kinds of people all over the world and I was one of them.
Ave Regina Celorum is a Spanish um, Renaissance motet by Thomas Lewis um, de Victoria. It's a very bright piece and for me it's really like a, a cheerful conversation between five voices that sometimes go hand in hand in pairs or imitate each other. We try to give a special touch to every piece already by playing it by heart, then we can internalize the text, especially in the music, much more. With this we try to express the text and the emotions of the text especially. We started as a Renaissance consort because that was a style we had um, a lot of common experience. But quite quickly we grew out of it by adding more and more styles around. So we tried the Baroque, we arranged pieces by Bach. We went into, um, into the modern times, we asked composers to write for us. That, that was a very important step to get our own repertoire, with repertoire nobody else is playing. In, in every concert I think there are quite some unexpected moments, yeah, and that's, that, that, that's what we're looking for. If people come to one of our concerts, they can expect a lot of instruments, so a big variety of recorders. They can also expect a big variety of music. Very often we play mixed programs with music from the Middle Ages, the Ren Renaissance, to uh, our own times. And they can expect very big contrasts and all a wide range of emotions and colors in the music. It's a very old melody. We know it from Bach and even before. There is a deep need and a deep uh, urgency, but there's also hope and relief. What I like a lot about playing these kind of arrangements is that you uh, s split the music that's usually played by one player. One organ player does all the, all the notes, all the different voices. And we split this now over five people, uh, which means that you play your own line, but you really are part of like one organism. And for us, it gives us a lot of freedom to just focus on the music and the sound and to look into our instrument collection, which instruments can imitate the organ sound. My favorite instrument? That question is very difficult to answer. They are are a lot of instruments that I really like and that maybe depends also on the day and the acoustic of the place we play. I think I like tenor instruments a lot, this size. Uh, it's for me, it feels really natural, really normal and I think I can shape the sound in, a, in an optimum way in that instrument. We think they're all fantastic, so it, I think it's really impossible to answer. I am very fond of all of the large, the larger recorders, although I'm a small person. Um, but on the other hand, I also love, for example, playing the Renaissance descant or soprano recorder, which is a very uh, delicate instrument, very small. The collection consists of three different types. We have the Renaissance recorders. There we even have two concerts, so two sets of instruments that are really meant to be played together. Then we have a lot of Baroque instruments and um, modern instruments, the so-called Petzl recorders that also are played in one of the videos that we did in the past days. These instruments are very interesting because they are actually kind of um, organ pipes, square organ pipes uh, with keys. And for us it makes us possible to get uh, to play low registers um, in a quite virtuosic way and to, to imitate also uh, the sound of an organ quite closely. Thomas Tellers was an, uh, an Englishman 
from the Renaissance period in the 16th century. And he was also an organist. Uh, uh, and he, the piece that he, we chose to perform from him is a very uh, delicate and intimate piece. And we want to show the warm, the warm sounds that we produce with the larger Renaissance instruments. Well, at the moment it's going extremely well. We have a lot of concerts um, playing in great festivals. Um, yeah, I hope that we can do many, many more and play actually maybe outside of Europe as well, in Asia or the US. I think in five years we can uh, reach a larger audience and to, to get more known to people who maybe don't go to a recorder concert in the first place. I think that would be our greatest achievement if we, if we can get listeners to our concerts who maybe go to, usually go to a different kind of concert, but to say like, hey, this quintet is different from what I've heard before and I want to see them live. I think in five years our quintet can be uh, standing often in very good venues. Uh, we already have that a little bit and I, I hope it's going to continue in the same way that we keep growing, uh, we keep uh, improving and, and growing together and we get more and more concerts and we reach more and more people. Mm -hmm.